Tributes and remembrances for the late Tom Benson continue. This is the second day of public visitation for the late Saints and Pelicans owner who died last week. Meg Ferris joins us live from Notre Dame Seminary where scores of people have been paying their respects. Good evening, Meg. That's right, Tom, and the private visitation is going on now, and it will be going on till 7 o'clock, and as you said, many people have been coming through saying their final goodbye. Another full day of fans, friends, and the Saints and NFL family paying respects and saying goodbye to Tom Benson. Gail Benson stood and greeted each fan at the public viewing from 8 to 1. And the last conversation I had with him, he said, Ruthie, I said, I'm going to do the Tom Benson boogie. He said, shake it, but don't break it. And then security became tight for the private viewing that began at 2 for invited guests only, like Coach Sean Payton, the owner of the Carolina Panthers, those who work for the Saints and at the Superdome. And there were former Saints players like Willie Rofe and Chuck Comiskey. There was also Morton Anderson and Steve Court. Sitting there, he, he was laughing, he was happy, and uh, that's, that's how I want to remember him, you know, with an umbrella in the Superdome, dancing and doing the Benson boogie. And I think the things that he has shown, the, how much he wanted to keep this team in the city, because there was a time literally when I was getting ready to go over to Jacksonville, Florida, and we'll start looking at houses. Well-known local New Orleanians and businessmen and women streamed through all day. Coaches for Tulane, Daryl Berger, Frank Stewart, and Angela Hill. There was also entertainer Chris Owens and the president and CEO of the Audubon Institute, Ron Foreman. But he also knew what he wanted, and he wanted championship teams. He wanted to do it first class, and he wanted to make a difference for the, this city. Oh, anything, because he's been a friend of mine and my late husband for many, many years. And he's done so much for, for our city of New Orleans, and he just happened. To and former Saints lineman Steve Court left us with a fun story about when Benson bought the team in the Bum Phillips days. The team, and he mentioned the fact that he didn't understand why did we not have enough money to buy white shirts and black shirts or, <laughs> or the same color shirts for everybody on the team. And I think Bum had explained to him that those guys are on defense and these guys are on offense, and that's how we distinguish those two. But. And tonight at 7 o'clock, they will take the casket out. There will be a ceremony. As they do that, it will spend the night in the funeral home, then be brought tomorrow to St. Louis Cathedral for the private funeral. And WWL is carrying that on our sister station, WUPL, tomorrow at noon. Reporting live from Notre Dame Seminary, Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. And that was a great Steve Court story. Thank you very much, Meg. Again, the private funeral is set for tomorrow at St. Louis Cathedral at noon. We will be airing that live on our sister station, WUPL, also on our website, mobile app, and Facebook page.